Hello, we are going to solve this problem that it's about similar figures and we're going to do it using proportions. So here's our problem. We need to find the length of X and we have these two similar triangles. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to draw them separately so everyone can see it more clearly. So here's a big triangle and here is a small triangle. Now this five is this five here. So the length of that side is five. Now for the small triangle, that side of the small triangle is this side. So that is three. Now the base of the small triangle is that one, four. So that's the base of the small triangle, that is four. The important thing here is to find out what is the total length of the big triangle, which is that length. As you can see, X goes from here to here, and then four from here to here. So the length, the total length of the base of the big triangle will be x plus 4. That is the length of the base of the big triangle. So this is x plus 4. Now I'm going to write my proportion. I decide that everything that belongs to the big triangle, I'm going to write it on top. Anything that has to do with the small triangle, I'm going to write it on the bottom. You can do it the other way around as long as you keep the same things on the, sa on the same side of the equal sign. Okay, so let's see. In the big triangle, I have this side, 5, that belongs to the big triangle. So I'm going to write it here on top because it's from the big triangle. This side is proportional to this side of the small triangle. So here I write what belongs to the small triangle, the three. Now, if I look at the bases, uh, the bases, the base of the big triangle is x plus four. It's from the big triangle, so I'm going to write it on top. Is proportional to the base of the small triangle. So this. That 4, I'm going to write it on the bottom. As you can see, on the left side of the equal sign, I have the sides, while on the right side of the equal sign, I have the bases. The bases of both, the bases of the big triangle and the base of the small triangle. Now here, what I have is a proportion, so I'm going to solve it using cross multiplication. So I need to multiply the 3 times all of this. And as always in algebra, all of this, I, for that I will need parentheses so that the 3 multiplies not only the x but also the 4. So I'm going to use parentheses when I do this cross multiplication. And that should be equal to the 4 times 5. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So... 3 times x plus 4, using parentheses, should be equal to 4 times 5, which is 20. Now I need to solve that parentheses, so I'm going to use distributive property. 3 times x, then 3 times 4, that's positive 12. And this is equal to 20. Now, in order to solve for x, all I need to do is get rid of the 3 and the 12, and as always, I start with the one that is farthest away from the variable. And using the opposite operation, I will do minus 12 on both sides. On the left side, the 12 will cancel. And I have that 3x is equal to 12 minus 12, which is 8. Now I need to get rid of the 3, which is multiplying the x. So I'm going to do the opposite operation, which is divide by exactly the number I'm trying to get rid of, which is 3 on both sides. With this, I'm able to cancel the three and I have x by itself as I want it. And eight x is equal to eight 
over 3. And this is my answer for this problem. I hope you enjoy this video and I see you on the next one. Bye.